guys welcome to code bashers guys in this particular video i will be discussing the latest coding questions which were asked in accenture exam that happened yesterday only that is on 16th august 2024 so guys this exam was off campus for 2024 batch students okay so i know on campus hiring is going on but on 16th august there was no on campus hiring there was only off campus hiring for 2024 batch students so the coding questions which were asked in those that hiring i am discussing in this particular video so make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and watch this video till the end because lot of videos regarding accenture hiring i have already posted on this channel if you want to see you can visit this playlist accenture uh, okay i will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box in this particular playlist i have discussed lot of one shot videos regarding coding also pseudo codes also abstract reasoning also and also there are coding questions which have been shared for the on campus hiring that began from 12th august okay so there was on campus hiring for 12th august as well 13th august as well and 14th august as well so i have made the coding questions which were asked in those particular days okay so make sure that after watching this video you visit this playlist also the link of this playlist i will give you in the i button or in the description description box make sure to visit it and before moving ahead do join this telegram group because it is a dedicated telegram group for 2025 batch students currently the accenture discussion is going on here but now tcs nqt has also been announced and cognizant hiring is also been announced so all those discussions we will be happening uh, will be taking place in the in this particular group only so guys now let's start this video just hit that like and subscribe button for motivating us so guys total three coding questions i will be discussing in this video and believe me guys these are the easiest question that you can get in the accenture exam okay so all these three coding questions were asked yesterday on 16th august off campus hiring and they are very easy believe me if you just know the basics of coding also then also you will be able to solve it very easy okay make sure to watch all the three questions they are easy but you can try side by side okay so let's just start with the first question first question is jack has an array a of length n he wants to label whether the numbers in the array are even or odd your task is to help him find and return a string with labels even or odd in sequence according to which the numbers appear in the array it's that simple so we are given an array 1 2 3 4 5 6 and input is 6 that how many elements are there and output is what is the output we have to iterate over the entire array if the element is odd then we have to print odd if the element is even we have to print even okay and we have to return this combined string from that function so 1 2 3 4 so 1 is odd then even so 2 is even then 3 is odd then 4 is even so then 5 is odd then 6 is even so this is how we have to print this answer next is input 2 so 2 3 4 3 is the size of the array so first element is even second element is odd third element is also even so even odd even so this is that simple so let's just quickly move towards the code of this question because like nothing much in the approach so if i go towards the code so you know that in accenture you only have to implement the function not right from the scratch so here is the helper function that you need to implement you will be getting an array as input and you will be getting n that is a size as input if our n is 0 it means that <coughs> our uh, array is empty so if our n is 0 it means our array is empty so we are simply returning blank string that okay there is no even odd elements present okay then we are declaring an answer variable which will store odd even odd even odd even okay like this it will store now we will iterate over the array we will iterate over the entire array and we will check whether the current element is even or odd okay we will check whether the current element is even or odd so if it is even we will append answer plus equal to even okay this is our answer variable in that we will be appending answer plus equal to even else we will be appending odd that okay this current element is odd and in the end after this for loop is over we have traversed over all the elements we are simply returning answer okay let's just see with the help of input so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it should be odd even odd even odd even let's see what will be the output <clears throat> so yeah it is odd even odd even odd even yeah let's just see now if there are only three elements and all are even then what it prints three elements all are even. so it should print even even and even okay so i know this question is very simple and coming two questions are also very simple but yeah my task is to yeah even 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 okay so i hope you like this question so see here my task is to like tell you the actual questions whether they are easy medium or difficult level so you so that you can prepare and you can see that what type of questions are getting asked in the accenture exam so now let's move towards the second question and before moving that please join this telegram group you will find the link in the description box as well as in the pinned comment 
and it is a dedicated telegram group for 2025 batch students okay so let's move ahead now for the next question now next question is you are given a string s and your task is to find and return the count of permutation formed by fixing the position of the vowels present in the string so let's just see simply so a b c is the input string what are the vowels what are vowels vowels are nothing but a e i o u okay the string can be uh, uppercase also the string can be lowercase also so what it is saying if we fix the position of vowels then what is the per what is the how many permutations we can form for the rest of the uh, alphabets so we have a b c okay we have a b c a we have b we have c we have now a is the vowel here so we let's suppose we are fixing the position of a here so the remaining elements now since they are not uh, since they are not vowels for the remaining elements how many permutations are possible how many permutations are possible either we can write b and c or either we can write c and b so total two per, two permutations are possible here so therefore the answer is two here i know input is not clear to you uh, still if it is you have solved some doubts you can write us uh, you can check here also now we have cdf okay cdf we have now how many vowels are there so there are no no vowels here so <coughs> How many uh, consonants are there? So there are three consonants C, D and F and uh, what are the permutations we can form from C, D and F is uh, it can be C, D, F, it can be C, F, D, it can be uh, F, C, D, it can be F, D, C, it can be D, F, C and it can be D, C, F. So total six permutations we can form from these particular consonants. Okay. Now if you will look closely, how many permutations we can form is the number of elements factorial so here we have three three variables three consonants we have and what are the permutation possible that is three factorial what is three factorial okay what is three factorial it is equivalent to six here we had two consonants only so what is the uh, number of permutation possible it is two factorial that is two only so once we have fixed the uh, fixed the vowel then number of consonants that are left we will just simply calculate their factorial and it will be the answer okay so i hope this question is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question okay input can be uh, upper case string also and lower case string also so this is the code that i have already written and i have told you that <coughs> only in extension only you have to implement the function so we are given a string as as input if the length of the string is zero then we are simply returning zero because yeah this is the base case next what we have we are storing the all the vowels inside the hash map we are storing all the vowels inside the hash map because our end task is to find how many consonants are there and we have to find the um, factorial of th that number okay so we are first storing all the alphabets all the sorry all the uh, vowels inside the hash map now we are declaring a variable count equivalent to zero it will store at how many consonants are there okay so now we will be iterating over the string we are iterating over this string and we will check whether the current element is a vowel or not if it is not a vowel then it definitely means that it is a consonant so if it is not present inside the hash map it means it is a consonant so we are simply doing count plus plus so this count will give us after the loop is over this count will give us how many consonants are there and now we have to find the number of permutations that are possible so we are simply uh, calculating the factorial of that number so if let's suppose count is 3 so we will be cal calculating the factorial of that count and how to calculate the factorial i have written already the code inside this function and it is called from here only so return factorial of count and it is returned from here and we are simply calculating the factorial here so how what is a factorial factorial is nothing but if you want to calculate the factorial of 3 so 3 into 2 into 1 this will be the factorial of 3 and what is the factorial of 6 6 will be 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this will be the factorial of 6 now how we are calculating the factorial we are running the loop of i equal to 1 till i less than n and we are simply adding this factorial into answer is equal to answer into i and in the end we are simply returning answer so this will calculate as the factorial so let's just quickly see with the help of the example if we have two vowels and we have two consonants bc so we are fixing the uh, value of consonants of vowels and we have to calculate the permutation of the consonant possible so there are two consonants only so answer should be two that is two factorial that is two only let's just see with the help of example yeah 
and if we have all the vowels let's suppose we have all the vowels a e i o u a e i o u we have and we have to now calculate the factorial it will be zero okay it will be zero okay sorry it is coming out to be one there is one base case that is remaining so if our count is zero if our count is zero because count is zero it means that there are no permutation possible if count is zero then simply return zero okay if count is zero then should simply return zero if we have one let's suppose now we have 2 3 b c d no vowel is present it should give us the three factorial that is six as the answer as we have seen earlier okay if condition is wrong here yeah it should give us six as the answer yeah so you can see here that this is giving the correct answer so i hope this question is also clear to you if you are finding this video informative please hit that like and subscribe button for this particular channel and do join the telegram group it is very much important for the 2025 batch discussion okay now moving towards the next question that is the third question again it is a very simple question ian has been given an array a of length n and he wants to find the sum of even positions after reversing the array your task is to help him find and return an integer value representing the sum of the arrays element present at the even index of the reversed array simple thing we are given the array 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 first step is to reverse this array first step is to reverse this array what will be reverse array 60 50 40 30 then 20 then 10 this is the reversed array okay this is the reversed array now we have to calculate the sum of those elements which are at even index okay what is the even index we have to calculate what is the index of 60 <coughs> just a second what is the index of 60 it is 0 index of 50 it is 1 index of 40 it is 2 index of 30 it is 3 index of 20 it is 4 index of 10 it is 5 so these now we have to calculate the sum of those elements which are present in at the even index so 0 is even 2 is even 4 is even so we will be calculating sum of 60 40 and 20 that is 120 is the answer so there is how 120 is coming as answer so first reverse the array and then calculate the sum of the elements which are present on the even indexes okay next one is again simple 21 24 67 13 24 let me just reverse this array first 27 24 13 67 24 21 now this is a even index this is a even index and this is a even index let's just calculate 27 plus 13 27 plus 13 is 40 and 40 plus 24 will be 64 so you can see 64 is the answer i hope this question is clear to you it is very simple let us quickly move towards the coding part of this question i have already written so input will be n that is the length of the array and the array itself first of all n is 0 it means there is no element present inside the array so we are simply returning 0 then we have to first reverse this array now i have written the code for reversing of this array reverse the array so while i is starting from 0 and j is starting from last element so while i is less than equal to j then we are swapping the two elements and we are doing i plus plus and j plus j minus minus so this is what is reversing this array once we have reversed the array we have to calculate the sum of all the elements which are present on the even indexes so int sum equal to 0 so for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus if i mod 2 is double equal to 0 sum plus equal to v of i if i is even number we are adding that element into the sum variable and in the end we are returning this sum so i hope this coding will also be <laughs> pass all the discussions that will be given to you 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 so 2 3 4 5 6 uh, here you can see 12 is coming as the answer okay and if you will see any other example as it say 10 20 30 40 50 60 then 120 should come out to be the answer so these particular code this particular code will pass all the tests that will be given to you okay 120 is coming out to be answer so if you found this video informative and you want more such videos do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do tell in the comment section that yes i want more such videos to be made in the future and do don't forget to uh, join this telegram group you will find the link in the i button as well as in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so do join this telegram group so this was all for this video thank you for watching this video